book, I want to talk just a little bit about, about some of the comments made in Australia over the weekend. And of course, the ones made on Friday about, about the United States and the very sad events about Kem Lay. Of course, those comments are both absurd and they are, and they are offensive to the United States. Now, everybody in Cambodia knows that we've been a strong, strong supporter of human rights and democracy. We've supported uh, NGOs and groups, and we supported the, uh, the, those kinds of issues because it's something we believe in. And so, so that's why those comments were just not, not you know, just uh, as I said, absurd and offensive. Now, now we said all along, back in when when uh, His Excellency Kim Lay was killed, we said all along the importance of having a open and transparent investigation and so I think comments like that emphasize why that's so important so that people in Cambodia can have have a belief and have believe in the results of that investigation and and and, and what would happen and what happened and and so the other thing I want to say is then I, I noticed there's been subsequently yesterday and this morning comments about about Chun Chan Bot the, the RFA reporter and whether he's afraid to be in America, whether he's under pressure from the American government. Now, I've never met Chun Chanbot, I don't think. I don't think I've ever met him. But, and so I don't know his situation, but I will say that, think about it for a minute. If you take a step back, tens of thousands of journalists from every country in the world file stories every day in America. They write stories that are supportive, of the American government, they write stories that are critical of the American government. They do the same thing for China, for Russia, for big countries and little countries. In fact, America, of course, we have the freest, most open media environment in the world. And I'm telling you, none of those journalists are afraid. Not a one. So this idea that Chun Chan Bot is afraid of being in America or something, it's just frankly, it's just silly. It just it's just silly and 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 um, it's just not not even worth discussing. So I guess that's that's what I would say about the events over the weekend. And uh, if you have any other questions, I'll take one or two. Okay. So, please no one. Okay. What do you think about his speech? Uh, why did he speak that at the time? I don't know. You'd have to ask the prime minister why he said what he said. That's not. I don't want to speculate on that. I did see the comments on on uh, Facebook Live, and as I said, they're both absurd and offensive to the United States. So, do you urge the government to investigate about Kamlai murder? Do you urge? Uh, uh, That's call not on? a question. Yeah, wow. I mean, do you call on? Well, I think on? this highlights two years later, almost, almost two years later, that that conspiracy theories like these are being thrown around. That shows why open, independent, transparent investigations are so so important. Uh, let's be honest, there's been a string of these killings in Cambodia since 1997, the grenade attack, following to, to Chia Vichia, somebody I knew very well. Um, there have been a string of these connect killings connected to political issues in Cambodia, and, and nobody ever really has a feeling that that justice is done and that we know who's responsible and so this is and that's why open independent uh, transparent investigations are so important take one more um, uh, the prime minister he accused the cia behind the crime blame but uh, what do you come well i saw his statement on facebook live in fact he did not i did not hear him use the letter okay. cia mm -hmm. i saw that show up on fresh news so you have to ask Fresh News, which of course is, is is dispenses the propaganda for the government, you have to ask them why they why they said that. Thank you. Okay. Right. Thank, you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. And what do you think about relationship between Cambodia and the United States? Well, obviously, a prime minister of a country goes to a, a ally of the United States and makes accusations like that. That's not helpful. But but you know, we're here. We're committed to our relationship with Cambodia and with the Cambodian people. That's why I'm up in. Kampong Tom today. We're very happy to be here. Americans love Cambodians and Cambodians love America right back and that's very clear to me and so so I don't want to over it. I don't want to make it a bigger deal than it is but of course it's not it's not a friendly act of course. So. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.